Hi, I have Transformers to talk about, and you can watch and listen if you want to, because it's a YouTube video, and this is what happens on there. Uh, this is one of the figures I unboxed from that unboxing video that some people watched. Uh, this is Toy World TWO. I'm oh, sorry, TWDO2 Muddy. This is the second. It's the second Dinobot that they released, and it's basically an homage to Sludge. So let's go ahead and get them open. Uh, this is not my first time opening it. I had expertly repackaged this, so don't be fooled. I'm not trying to fool you. Uh, I did get the le the repro labels. It's upside down. Uh, I got the repro labels for it. I've got a couple leftover stickers. Some of them are extras. Some of them are optional ones. Um, I've got the instructions that come with a sticker. Whoop. Sticker. And and a card. Uh, and that's great. Uh, I'm, I don't open. I don't, I don't need them. So they'll stay close. Uh, then there's some environmental destroying styrofoam. that comes free with every Toy World purchase. And in here we have, and in here <laughs> we have uh, Muddy and his two weapons. So let's go ahead and get these out. Here is Muddy, and we'll go over obviously his Dino Mode first, uh, and his two weapons. So this is Toy World's Muddy. Uh, I did Roar earlier, so you can see he uh, is very much sort of a Brontosaurus, or even a Diplodocus. Um, look at that head. That head is definitely a, uh, a dinosaur head, which is great. Um, the mouth opens, which is also great. Uh, he does have weapon storage. So he has this awful, terrible sword. And it's mostly awful because it bends in half to do this. It just snaps right in the neck there. So you can't see it. There's a big hole. Uh, which you don't really notice, honestly. It's not that bad. Um, but that's where his sword can store. He's got a gun. The gun can, I don't know, kind of go on the side right here. But not really well, so I'm not going to do it. It just it looks dumb sticking out the side. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I hate, I mean, I've said this in the last one. I hate, uh, I hate when weapons are just kind of tacked on. Uh, but storage is kind of cool because that's just out of the way and you can't really see it. Uh, so let's go over, like I said, I got some repro labels for them. And we're just going to go over those real quick. So I've got the Autobot logo on the front. He's got a couple of stickers on the side right here and also on the back. This is just kind of straight chrome. So I just feel like it breaks up the monotony of the chrome uh, and still makes it look good. Let's see, on the back here, the he had sort of a tricolored little section right here, kind of like Grimlocks looks like. I don't know if you've ever seen Grimlocks. I don't know why you're watching this. If you haven't seen Grimlock before, you know what that looks like. These kind of make it a little, just a little different uh, and a little shinier, which I like. And then on the tail, he has just a, a little, little sticker back there. And that's pretty much it. That's the stickers in dino mode. That's the dinosaur in dino mode. Uh, his tail moves a little bit. It does move more, but that's more for transformation. The head doesn't really move up and down unless you start the transformation as well. That The the neck doesn't, sorry. The head moves just fine up and down. The mouth opens, I showed you. He has, you know, he has normal articulation that you would expect. Uh, here, 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 here. It's all fine. I don't want to bore you by going over it. He, he's got it. If you don't believe, just trust me. Just trust me. He's got it. Um, let's go ahead and transform him into a robot. Uh, the legs here come up and move out like that. And we're just kind of left with a clean bottom half. Maybe we should split the top first before we get too crazy. So let's go ahead and move this down. And while we do that, we're going to go ahead and just move the head like that. And that kind of stores up pretty nicely in the back there. Okay, so we're going to move this back like that now it's just a mess so next we're gonna we're gonna try to unfold the legs here which is what i've been trying to do for a long time this is not really a clearance issue per se all right get straight straight there we go 
Okay, that's one leg. Uh, gotta open that up, clearance out, and the whole thing straightens out like so. Uh, his feet pull forward like that. Uh, let's see. The whole waist rotates like that. Uh, and let's get let's get the feet done now that we're here. So these side, these are where his arms were plugged into. So this actually kind of comes forward and just fills in that little gap, which I think is actually pretty cool. Uh, it just kind of makes it makes it not look so dumb. His tail here folds away pretty nicely too. The uh, tip of the tail kind of turns around and folds into the back side of the tail. And then the whole thing flips over to the other side like this. And then this just kind of goes inside like that. Uh, and then you've got a solid, a solid foot, really. So, I mean, that's, that's his feet done. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, let's let's work up here now. So let's go ahead and get his head out because this chest thing is in the way. And I want to talk about this chest thing. Uh, one of the stickers I want to show you is actually this one. This is one of the extra stickers right here. Um, this this is like a spark kind of chamber, but there's also like a Dinobot symbol and like one of those dinosaur Dinobot symbols uh, that can go in there. Um, but I chose this kind of the normal looking thing. But anyway, this whole thing comes forward. The head flips up, and then this whole thing comes up, the snap on his chest. Now, one of the things about this, these side pieces right here, pretty much any time you're messing with it, these little these little side pieces right here just come right out, and it's super annoying. Uh, and I'm afraid they're going to break, or I'm afraid that I'm going to lose it. I haven't so far, but I've transformed it. I've transformed it a handful of times. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, there's little holes Ooh. there. There's a peg there. It uh, it snaps in like so. And then you kind of want to push down here. That will force the whole thing to go into position because this sticks out a little far. So if you line up the hole and just kind of push in, it snaps and it looks good. Do, do, do. Arms go down like a normal robot do. Like, so we're pretty much there. The hands are standard robot hands, or they're just kind of hidden in a little flap underneath. Boom, 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 uh, boom, like so. And then, uh, oh, uh, the back here, this kind of cleans up a little bit. And I guess you could technically leave it like this, where it was with his legs back here behind the wings. But what you can also do, so the wings right here, and this was scary at first because it was tight, they open up like that. And the whole leg sort of slides on the other side. And then you just close it right back up. And you can kind of angle it to fit in a little grooves a little better. So the other thing, just kind of whoop, open it up. The whole leg just kind of goes right inside. Kind of angle it to fit in there. You close it back up, uh, and that's that's uh, that's that. That's 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 muddy or sludge, or whatever you want to talk call them. So let's talk about the figure itself. It's got pretty standard articulation, just like uh, just like the other one did. Uh, Roar. Um, you know, I don't want to talk too much about articulation because I think it's really boring. But I do just like, especially from the front anyway, how kibble-free he looks. He's got his standard wings, like Sludge usually does, but he doesn't have anything down here. He just looks super clean, which is super nice. Um, let's go over the repro labels real quick because I was really, I was actually really proud of him, and I feel like and this is actually going to be a little plug for repro labels. Um, I just don't feel like a third-party figure is an official transformer until it has repro labels. Um, that's kind of what does it for me. Uh, as soon as I get an Autobot logo on there, he's now or Decepticon, whatever it is, that it's now an official transformer. So he's got uh, Autobot logo on his chest. He's also got some stickers 
uh, around here. He's got some up up on his. This is really hard to do from behind. I don't know why it's. He's got some stickers here on his arms. Uh, he has some there on his forearms just to make it a little shinier. Uh, he's got some up on his legs up here. Yeah. Uh, these are the same stickers I showed you earlier. As you can see, he's got some insane ankle tilt, uh, which is good. Because uh, that was one of my complaints about Roar is his feet were awful. This guy's feet are super solid. Um, it looks really good. From the back, he looks good. His head uh, definitely folds up nice. His wings look really nice. So he's got a good uh, all-around view, which I really love about this guy. I think... He's de this is definitely, so far from what I've seen, my favorite incarnation of Sludge from any third-party toy. He looks cool. I don't know. I don't want to get into that too much. Uh, let's go over the weapons. He's got a standard gun. It's a little bit bigger than Roar's gun. Um, uh, it's the same kind of thing here, but this part's a little, a little beefier. The next is the sword. So, let me put him down. The sword here, ugh. It unfolds and it, it just it looks awful it just it just looks awful I don't know if there's some unspoken rule that says if you're doing sludge you have to give him awful weapons uh, the guns actually not bad at least he holds it unlike Columpio's but the sword oh it's just terrible it's terrible uh, anyway so that's that's it that's the whole figure I definitely I definitely like this figure. I feel like he's pretty solid. He's pretty big. He's got great light piping. And I feel like if you got him, you have to get the repro labels for him. Uh, otherwise, you're just kind of silly. Uh, so definitely pick these up. I like them. I can't recommend them enough. Uh, and thank you for watching. Bye.